<laughs> so, yeah, and they're banging in the pool. There's a fucking orgy going on in the pool. Gotta clean the pool. Yeah. If movie has any redeeming quality whatsoever, it's just fucking rogue. Crapolet. 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 This whole story yes. is crapolet. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to episode number 10 of your favorite podcast, What the Suck Podcast. This is your host, Chris, and as always, with me every week, in and out, James. You damn right. What's up, brother? This is James. It's glad to see everybody again. I'm starting to lose my damn mind. You are. <laughs> you Already? are losing your damn mind. <laughs> We're only two episodes in, you're losing your damn mind. Yep. <laughs> well, not two. This is actually 10, but two after the break. So whatever. Yeah. We're 10 episodes in. But uh, yep. yeah, today's episode, uh, today's movie's uh, Don't Let Her In. It's from 2021. So it's Don't a relatively- let that bitch in. It's a new one. So that, that's good, uh, sort of. Uh, when a young couple rents out a room in their spacious loft- their seductive new tenant invades their minds, beds, and the very fabric of their lives. That sounds more like a soap opera than a horror movie. Yes, it does. Directed by Ted Nicolau, written by Ted Nicolau. Do you see a pattern here in these last three episodes, yeah. guys? Well, this is the way it works. When it's directed and written by, it's bad. Usually. Yeah, unless you're like... Well, you're not going to have any award winners or Academy Award nominated films on this podcast. No. That's for damn sure. Not at all. Uh, starring Kelly Kieran, Lauren Doctor, Austin James Parker, and Cole Pendry. Produced by Charles Band, uh, Nakai Nelson, and music by Richard Band. Um, there's no Rotten Tomatoes. There's no nothing because this... So, interesting thing about this movie, actually, <clears throat> is it started off as two two different shorts. Like, two two segments. Like oh, it, it was, did. It was a part... Don't let her in part one. Don't let her in part two. And then they decided to make it into one and release it as an actual movie. Which is weird because it's still just it's still right at an hour, so it's not very long. Kind of like the reverse of the Justice League, where they took six glorious parts of a movie that would have kicked ass if they released it as is, and let Whedon fuck it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly like that. Off topic. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, let's. Uh, I'm still not over it. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Most people aren't, but like it, it's overrated. But anyway, yeah. So there's no Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, there's no. There's really not a whole lot to this movie other than the IMDb, which is where I got everything from. So, IMDba. IMDba. So with that being said, why don't we just roll into the review, dude? <sighs> All right. That means yes, and James talk right there. <laughs> <laughs> space so why don't i show you around this is a pot friendly household you're an artist too i googled you i know your work wow this would be your room i'm definitely into it did you hear that baby can i get a recommendation from a previous landlord anyone who could vouch for you i promise i will be a good housemate welcome to the hood Serena seems kind of weird, don't you think? Serena? Good morning. Oh my god. And crawling into bed with you, I promise, is not going to be a regular thing. Unless you want it to be. I'll take good care of your girl. I see the way you look at her. Don't be crazy. As the credits roll, we get we watch a woman, Serene, walking down the street, and for some reason they have this filter over every scene of like it's like a negative filter. It looks dumb as fuck. Now she's kind of fine, but her eyes are kind of like a chameleon. Her, her jacket looks dumb as fuck. It looks like I don't know what's wrong with her jacket. It's I just shit. couldn't get over the one eye. 
She yeah. kind of had a weird eye. Yeah, she did. She did. <laughs> uh, she knocks on a door and meets the owner, Amber, who was looking for a housemate. And I put on there, Amber? I was like, really? You had to pick the most common stripper slash horror bitch name and ever. Who had like the worst haircut in the entire history of haircuts. Ugh. It was terrible. She Her haircut almost reminded me of, um, I don't remember her name. What was the bitch in... The, the blonde bitch in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street that got killed first. Oh, yeah. Not Chrissy, right? Is it Chrissy? No. I don't think so. I don't remember who it is. I don't remember. My, I don't my, care. My brain is fried. But it's stupid. She got she got these little ridiculous bangs and shit. Mm-hmm. So they go upstairs to see the apartment, and she meets Ben, the uh, the boyfriend of Amber. Who's a dick. Who is a dick, yeah. And uh, a wannabe shitty artist, uh, musician. They tell him... Uh, oh, yeah. She tells them that she makes gemstones and other hippy-dippy bullshit as her uh, employment. That's her means. Amber says she's an artist and Ben is a wannabe musician, a.k.a. Ben Folds 1. <laughs> Anybody knows who Ben Folds 5 is? That's a joke. Ha ha. Very funny. There's more. <laughs> so get ready. There's more of these jokes in here. So, <laughs> By the way, I just want to point out the apartment is fucking huge. It's like a whole floor. It is enormous. It's a very pretty building, though. Yes, it is. Uh, anyway, she shows Serena to her room. And then uh, when they ask her about her history, she's kind of vague about her past uh, history where she's lived before and, and references, which seems fishy. But then she breaks out with, oh, I can pay nine months of rent in advance. And so, and of course, we're like, fucking sold, dude. Yeah, that's what I say. Got, you know, you know, eight grand in cash definitely always uh, trumps uh, morals. And, and <laughs> yeah, you, you, you could have been a fucking murderer. You could have been a, a meth yeah. head. You could have been a meth dealer. You could be all kinds of the worst scum. But yep. you got Your eight principles grand. are for sale. That's yep. right. Absolutely. So then she leaves, and I just have a note in here that she has the dumbest fucking sunglasses I've ever seen in my goddamn life. They don't fit her face. And she says she's going to, quote, unquote, visit clients. I'm like, hmm. These tiny little black little Maybe she might be a hoe. She might be a hoe. Yeah. So we cut to Serena moving and Ben uh, moving in and Ben leaving for a band trip. Um, And I put on here, I hope that Ben gets in a wreck. Fuck face. (laughs) That's literally what I put in my notes. I was like, I can't stand that guy. That that is like America's idea of what the modern man is. They're out oh, of his yeah. fucking mind. No, he's a feminine, wimpy he, little piece of shit. He is a complete fucking asshole for sure. It's like I, don't, I think even at fifty four years old, I could kick everybody's ass at thirty years younger because they're all you know they're all fucking pansies. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Amber and Serena are unpacking her stuff, and Amber picks up a statue, which causes Serena to freak the fuck out because she says it's super old. Yep. But it's this really stupid looking fake demon statue. It looks dumb as shit. It looks like something you'd buy like at a dollar store. Uh, cut to that night. Amber's in her room when she hears Serena chanting. That's our best imitation. I love it. She walks out to the living room and she finds Serena hunched over a bookcase and chanting some dumb fucking chant. But the way she stooped over the damn yeah. thing, she's like, <laughs> with her elbows out and all hunched down. Uh, when she calls out to Serena, she turns around and presents her with a bowl of sand and some fucking rocks. That I'm like, <laughs> thank you. She's like, this is this is your your housewarming present. It's gonna bring you luck. It's it's fucking rocks yep. in the sand, bitch. Um, but then we cut to twelve thirty, twelve minutes thirty seconds in. We get a rescue nipple, just a nipple. Yep, that's true. In the form of a horror movie that they're watching on TV, in which the woman gets her nipple bitten by a weird ghouly creature. I think the weird ghouly creature was like actually getting busy. Was he? Was he? Getting I think busy he was getting busy. Oh, okay. Well, all we see is him biting her nipple. So, but the nipple's like right there on TV. So. I was sitting there going, "Damn, they're watching better horror movies on that <laughs> shit than we're having to watch here." That's what it looks like. It's like they're yeah. watching better shitty horror movies than than we were. Yeah, uh, I'd rather watch what's on the TV than what's on this movie. Exactly. Uh, they talk about what they want in life. Blah blah blah. Bullshit. Cuts the next morning where Serena fixes her a smoothie, and Amber gets a call about an art job she wants that Serena wants her to do. Cut to a photo shoot of Serena by Amber. And this is all this is all filler bullshit we're going through. Uh, cuts later that night when Amber is reading in bed, but then looks out her window and sees what I call the Kmart version of the crow standing <laughs> on the corner. <laughs> yeah, we'll call him the uh, the pigeon. The pigeon. Nice. That's I love the it. Pigeon. Perfect. I love it. Cutting to her sleeping, Serena's now standing over her and chanting. Blah, 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 I'm sitting there going, Serena, blah, blah. what are you doing? Nothing. Just conjuring the devil. Now, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> it's <just> like, <laughs> go fuck off. Exactly. And she wakes up and sees a demon creature over her, but then wakes up again. Uh, Serena walks in and Amber tells her she has anxiety and it causes nightmares. So Serena lays in bed with her and she's looking at her all creepy as fuck while she sleeps. 
Yeah. When she wakes up the next morning, Serena tells her that sleeping in her bed will not be a regular thing unless she wants it to be. And I put my notes, swing. That's right. And we've I think we completely blasted past the part where she actually had sex with the fuck face. Before nope. He we have not blasted past that part yet. Hasn't we happened. didn't? Nope. Because Ben's not even home right now. Oh. Yeah, he's he's out he's out doing his band thing. I thought he did that before he actually left, though. Nope. Yeah, he did. Nope. Because I have it in my notes. Okay. See, this is why you take notes. I took notes, motherfucker. You I'm telling you. Your notes are in the wrong order, then, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. He, so. Never mind. I don't give a fuck. We'll, we'll, I we'll really get there. don't. We'll get there. Later that night, Ben comes home. Uh, he gives her a hug. but Oh, that's right. He then went says, out to do his band shit. Exactly. Never mind. I'm thinking road trip. That's later. Yeah. My fault. Uh, but he said it stinks in the apartment like something dies. They walk over to that stupid ass sand bowl that he gave her, and then suddenly he thinks it smells good. So there's some witchcraft going on there. There's some next level evil happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, he then gives Karin, uh, uh, Serena a uh, band shirt, and at 20 minutes 59, we get Serena Artis. Yes. Which are not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. Mm-mm. Nope. She's a good looking girl. Yes, she is. Uh, ben then says he wants to take a pic of her in the shirt, but she screams no because something fishy tits is going on. <laughs> so obviously what so what i what i got of so far is that okay so so amber did a photo shoot with her mm-hmm. and she was okay with it ben wanted to take a picture she said no what that means is that if you take a picture you see who she really is yeah but she allowed amber to take a picture and was able to keep her identity withheld from the picture kept the identity withheld yes um <clears throat> so then Later in bed, Amber says she thinks Serena's weird, and he tries to get some nookie for her, but is denied. Sorry, you're a loser. No, I'm going to sleep. Fuck you. So then while they're sleeping, when Ben wakes up and sees Serena standing over him, she gets on top of him, and we get her boobs again. Yep. And this is when she starts riding him, and Amber doesn't wake up. And I That's put, right. I put this in my notes. Oh, yeah. I've seen this kind of porn before. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sleeping spouse or girlfriend right, right next. next. To them, yep, mm-hmm. and they're rocking it, and they're rocking it. It's a very popular category. The bed is slamming against the wall, but yet the other motherfucker is just laying. There. Yeah. yeah, it's it's, it's it's like the headboard's going bam, 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 and the, yeah. like their partner's like. <laughs> 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 uh, as she is riding him, she's chanting again, and then her face changes to the demon, uh, and then the demon gets his seed. Uh, and that's when, and this, uh, oh, okay, I love this part. I love, love this fucking part, okay? When she's done, she gets up. Ben looks over at her, and we suddenly get a, a, a kind of freaky, but also funny, backwardy, jaggedy walk out of the know room what from the fuck her. It was kind of like the ring and fast forward. No, but not even that, because like, she's like bent down real low, and like she's arms are So you know, you know what's funny, James? I actually, I, I, I paused that part just before, right? Okay. And I went uh, uh, scene by scene through it to see what she's doing. Yep. So what they did was they had her, the actress, come into the room, hunched down, arms out, making noise, right? Yep. And doing all these things. And she jumps and whatever. They, she had, they had her do all this into the room. Yep. Then they played it in reverse. They played it in reverse. They and had to. Have. That's why it looks all jaggedy. And fast. It is the funniest dumb fucking shit I've ever seen in yep. my life. I fucking love it. It's great. Also, I have in here that... Um, I, I put in there laughing my fucking ass off. What in the hell was that exit? I put I IDKWTF. Like, I don't yep. know what the fuck's going on. Yep. I also and put... I'll, yeah, I put in here also that uh, that she was riding him, and as he was starting to bust, she turned into a fucking demon. But yes. Yeah, he's still busting that. Because he's a guy. Didn't give a flying fuck. And it's also the only time you're ever going to see a girl sneak out after a one-night stand, as that opposed is- to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no coyote ugly shit here. No. So he wakes up. Amber's gone. He goes into Serena's room, and she says Amber doesn't know about what they did. Um, Amber comes home and cuts them talking about the green smoothie. I love it. And she goes right to it. If you ever fuck, don't you fuck her. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And she says, but honey, that will never happen. You lying motherfucker. You already did. It just fucking happened, you bitch. Uh, Serena leaves to meet a client. Piece of shit. Amber tells Ben... She knows that he cheats on the road, but not to fuck Serena. Too late. She storms out. He goes over to his guitar and gets a call. Amber goes into Serena's room, and we see the demon statue, and Ben yells out. Um, he says that he got a record deal with an indie record. Yeah. And I just love <clears throat> I love this next line. He says that he's going on tour, and he's opening for the label's hottest act. I love when movies 
can't use it or don't use a real band's name. Yeah. So they just, they just say hottest act. Yeah. It could be fucking Daryl down the street <laughs> is their hottest act, but that's what it is. Hottest acts. Shut the fuck up. That's right. Cut to Amber telling Serena that Ben is a dick. I love that. Yep. Amber goes for a walk to smoke some weed and sees Kmart Crow. I'm sorry, Pigeon outside. Yep. Uh, then she goes back inside to tell Serena, who says that's her ex, and says she will get him to leave. And we cut to later that night. And I put on here, too, with the good luck and the good fortune they're having, drinking that green shit. Yeah. I actually noted here, I need some of that green shit from a dam. So. Yeah, it's me, too. Um, cut to later that night, and we see Serena seduce Amber to get busy. And I have in my notes here, let's get ready to scissor. <laughs> <laughs> but then i put or not because serena just gives her a finger blast she's like, used she didn't even do that she just uses the force no she put her hand in her pants she put it in there but she wasn't moving jack shit no but yeah it was just like hum mm-hmm. hand on the, she know. gives her a finger blast like they're in the eighth grade but if that's even that but like i said it was more like she was using the force yeah. as far as what i could see but then was she, hilarious then she does that weird dumb backwards walk again um <laughs> And I put in here, is there any reason she just can't fucking leave normally? <laughs> <laughs> like, is there is there uh, a is there a, a spell or a conjuring reason she has to do that dumbass walk backwards? I don't know. But it's I dumb. don't know. Uh, next morning, she's making another green smoothie, talking about the finger blast, like it's the next big sex move. And then the cut to Serena making another bowl and chanting again. And then, then the X shows up on the sidewalk. We got to yeah, do that. Pigeon. Pigeon mm-hmm. shows up on the sidewalk. She goes down there and runs him off, and then she disappears. So you're thinking, she's a demon. She done at that motherfucker. Right. And she's she's she like did. chanting at him, like screaming chants at him, yep. too. Um, but then what's funny is Amber finally, ding, 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 gets a light bulb and basically figures out this bitch is all fucked up and crazy. Well, starts, starts to work it out. Not you know, necessarily, no. That's not what happens. But it took like 45 minutes of an hour-long movie for her to figure this shit out. No, that's not what happens. Because she th- th- she's telling she's telling Ben on the phone, and she's saying that she might need to go back on her meds because she has, uh, she has medication she takes to keep herself sane. But she thinks that she needs to go back on it because she swears that Serena's acting all weird and shit. Uh, and Serena comes back, and she's acting like a robot. Uh, that's right. Next day, while Amber is working, she hears someone whispering her name later that night while Amber is reading. Serena comes in, and you think it's finger time again, but it's not. She waves her mm-hmm. hand her hand over her stomach and says she's pregnant. So and Jabs her. Remember, she oh, hurts that's her, right. too. She goes, <coughs> she reaches in her stomach. She's petting her stomach, and she's over there, ah, doing her shit. Mm-hmm. And she goes, huh. And yeah. she's like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> she goes, you're pregnant. Well, you just fucking killed the baby, bitch. Whammy, bammy. So uh, Serena makes, makes her another green smoothie. And then Amber wakes up that night with some killer gas, man. She is farting all over. She is Dutch ovening the fuck out that room, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, damn. And then she thinks she hears Ben chanting with Serena down the hall. So then she walks in and seeing Serena chanting with her back to her. Uh, she turns around and she's Serena in her demon form, but then wakes up. I hate that. I hate all these fucking wake-ups they do. Yeah, I don't like that shit. I hate that shit. Uh, she goes into her underwear drawer and finds another bowl in the drawer. Uh, she FaceTimes Ben and tells him to come home. And this is when she realizes that, that she's fucking weird. That's right. She tells him that she's pregnant and she's freaked out because Serena wants to kill their baby. I was probably sitting there staring at the screen going, what in the blue fuck is no, this? No, yeah. Yeah, I, I, you probably, I mean, I don't blame you though. And a lot of time passed by and I'm like, what in the hell? Yeah. So then she looks out the window and sees Ben Ben folds in half outside. Um, and when she goes out, she runs into Pigeon, uh, whose name is Elias, by the way. Uh, he tells her he wants the demon statue back and that it was stolen from him. He yeah. tells her that Serena's a demon and that he wants the statue back. Um, I want you back. Dun, 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 dun. I want you back. He then runs into Serena, who stabs him with a prop knife that at she fi- bought. It. At 50-15. Yeah, at 50-15 it says <laughs> stab but no death shown. No. But uh, but the prop knife she bought from Halloween Express. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but, yeah. but it doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't see it. Nope. Doesn't see shit. Uh, Amber runs upstairs and lays salt on the floor across the doorway. Then she goes to grab the statue. She sees Serena coming up the, hel- the elevator. You see how fast he's reading this, folks? Yeah, we're almost done. This over with, yeah. We're almost done. And <laughs> puts a line of salt across the doorway, but she doesn't complete it, so Serena gets in. Then she makes it to her room where she has salt across the doorway. 
Uh, so I also put that Serena's demon screech sound that she makes right now. Ugh. It sounds like the minions from Despicable Me. Yes, they're horrible. <laughs> I'm like, for fuck's sake. And then Dick Brain shows back up, mm-hmm. comes up there, bang on the door. We're worried about you. Blah, blah, blah. And the dumb fuck, you know, he has no idea what's going on. And he, after the op- he he goes and gets the key and opens the fucking door. Mm-hmm. And he trips like an asshole and drags his foot through the fucking sand. Yep. Uh, through the salt, excuse yep. me. And breaks the line and allows her to enter the fucking room. Yep. I'm like, you dumb dick. Yeah, so she transforms her face into the demon. They both see it now. Yep. Um, she pushes Ben in the room, and mess, which messes up the salt line. I even put, I said, the dumbest demon transfer ever. Yeah. Because he, he does something. What does he do to kill her? He stabs her with something. Or... No, so what happens is, okay, so what happens is um, she approaches them and then yeah. she stabs herself instead. That's right. She stabs herself with that fucking, that you know, the uh, Halloween Express that, that, prop that knife. Bo- that Buddhist knife from the Golden Child. Yes. The the dagger, the, what is it? The, jag- the, the sacred uh, dagger, dagger. Of the Jaunty dagger. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Which and, then transfers the demon to Amber. Yep. And then in the dumbest scene yet, Yep. Ben folds negative, wants to call the police because Serena is dead, but Amber's now possessed, says no, and that she will take care of it, and then begins to eat Serena. End of movie. It just eats, yeah, eats. Hey, hey, she chews on his face or some shit. Her yeah. face. She no chews on Serena's face. Her face. That's yeah. It. But all dead. Nothing. Garbage. I mean, so we, we saw Serena die on screen, but do we really want to count that one? Uh, she killed herself. Right, so we don't want to count that then, so probably. We can, but it's not really a kill. It's a death. True, good it's point. It's a self-inflicted death. It's not an actual kill. Good point, so, good point. Okay, so, James, ugh. this being mine, what is your rating? I, ugh, this is brutal, man. This one mm. almost died. Okay, okay. Almost died. The, the RTs and the little bit of blood effects barely saved it okay i'm definitely straight up the acting sucked mm-hmm. the script sucked but it was at least better to it was easier to follow than the chupacabra movie last week oh god for sure oh yeah 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 but uh straight up on down that was aggravating movie uh-huh was, i gave it a red turd red turd okay because it's it's worth one watch gotcha okay you know for those who like shitty horror movies it's yeah. worth one watch but like I said, the movies they were watching on the TV were better than the fucking movie itself. <laughs> so, yeah. It's never you might want to see what they were watching on the TV and watch those movies instead. Gotcha. Okay. But that's that's it never for me, a good man. Sign. Fuck this movie. Okay. <laughs> so, I I actually found a lot of value in this movie in, first of all, Serena, because she was hot. Okay. The acting, I think, wasn't that bad. I absolutely, absolutely love her backward walking out of the rooms. I thought, oh, that was funny. That, to me, made the fucking movie. Not, and not just because she did it once. She did it fucking twice. Yeah. That made the movie for me. <laughs> um, it, I also love that it was short. It was an hour long. You know, uh, kind of got right to it. Uh, the the pigeon, the Kmart crow character was oh. was so useless. Didn't even be in the damn movie. That was funny. He had, he had no reason to be in there because he never he never got the statue. He never did anything. Did anything? No. no. He had like six lines. That's it. Exactly. Um, overall, though, I think it would benefit. This is one of the times where I think the movie would benefit from being like half an hour longer, hmm. where we had time to stretch things out. Yeah, and kind of work through some things. Maybe so. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so I thought it was pretty good. Uh, definitely not great, but, uh, I'm giving this one a brown turd. Brown turd. Brown turd. That's right. Damn. Yeah. I liked it. I, I, yeah, I, I, we're I, a little bit apart on that one, but Hey, strictly because, because a of her backward walking and B, um, because since Ben, the dickhead was a musician, I had a lot of fun coming up with different ways of calling him Ben folds five, but in a, in a bad way, like, you know, <laughs> Ben folds one, Ben folds negative, Ben folds like a house of cards. You know, so that was a lot of fun for me. So that's there why I gave go. it a brown turn. Hey, so yeah, good man. Whatever, so. whatever, whatever floats the boat. Whatever right? works, right? Yep. So all right, man. All right, folks. Remember once again, if you get a chance, support the podcast. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash what the suck. We have one level, the uh, jump scare, seven bucks. You get access to our early episodes. You get access to the ad free stuff, the bloopers. Our uh, commentary tracks, our special reviews, and any other special material we come up with in the future. It's cheap. That's right. Do Good. it. It's worth seven bucks. Easily. We also have a YouTube channel, so if you can go there and subscribe for us. We don't care if you hit the notification button. I mean, you want to watch it? That's your business. You do it. You listen to it at your pace. That's right. 
I don't give a damn. And we are on social security. We are social security. Social security. <laughs> I need to be because I'm losing my fucking mind. Uh, <laughs> we're on social media. Uh, but I won't explain where we're out there. We're out Trust there. Me. Check us we're out. That's right. All right, man. So next week's movie is uh, Countryside. Countryside. One looking, of my choices. Oh, looking Lord. forward to it. But until then, this is Chris, and I'll see you all at the next shit fest. And this is James. And if it ain't on what the suck, it ain't shit. We'll be right back.